Tonight, the staggering death toll across this country. More than 4,500 dead from coronavirus. In New York, now nearly 2,000 dead. An increase of 400 in just 24 hours. Tonight, the images from inside an ER in New York City. The ER full, the ICU full, patients in hallways. And now New York's governor warning the peak of this in New York City might not arrive until the end of this month, several more weeks. Tonight, the vice president and his alarming new words, with the world having seen what happened in Italy, Vice President Pence now saying the White House modeling suggests Italy may be the most comparable area to the U.S. And what President Trump said moments ago. Tonight, news from the hotspots emerging across this country, Michigan, Louisiana, Texas among them. And tonight, after weeks of resisting, Florida, now weeks into this, imposing stay-at-home restrictions. And the scene in California tonight, the pleas for help from the front lines. We also have new reporting coming in, ABC News obtaining the order orders given to public and private EMS services in the New York City area. The paramedics answering these calls and now an acknowledgement that near-death patients might not be able to be saved with city hospitals overrun with coronavirus. What the guidelines now say for these crews on the front lines. Across the country tonight, the doctors who say even basic antibiotics are difficult to get. Another fearing he will have to deny ventilators to patients who need them. And the patients with pre existing conditions, compromised immune systems, what one cancer patient says she was told if a choice has to be made. Tonight, the cruise ship headed toward Florida confirmed cases on board, at least four dead, including an American. And officials in Florida saying they don't want the ship to dock there. The dire need on board that U.S. aircraft carrier cases now climbing to 93, and we have learned of new action tonight. The families across this country and the economic toll. The first of the month, bills due, and tonight the laid-off workers on the line for days trying to get unemployment. And that question about stimulus checks, do you need to apply or will they come automatically? We get answers tonight. And Dr. Jen Ashton with your questions. And tonight the important headline for Americans 60 and older. This is ABC World News Tonight with David Muir. Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here on this Wednesday night. And tonight, the numbers now tell this story of a growing crisis here in the U.S.